They're going for Rasnum again. Unfortunately, my Rasnum protection fleets are all the way up here now. <sighs> Why are you guys not merging like I expect you to? Because I can't increase the number of caravan destroyers allocated to you. Well, that's just annoying. Alright, so Davy Jones' locker is still a little vulnerable. Unfortunately, they may well take Rasnum from me, but now that we've done the excavation there and there wasn't anything special... Yeah, that just gave us some technologies. Um, I don't really care if they take that. It's one less thing for me to worry about defending. Let's start working on the antimatter reactors that we've stolen from them. And you go to Uram, and that should be us done. I was expecting them to come and attack me at Helm's Deep, but they just haven't. Governor just hit level 7. Nice. All right, show us what you can do. Intellectual booty. They wish to speak with us. Fleet engaged. Get them a broadside. There we go. We took it back again. So the only thing that we would be losing is Rasnum, and frankly, it's a liability, so... Alright. Ooh, climate restoration. That's going to allow me to terraform... Earth. Do that. Okay, now I think I'm ready to make peace. We're not losing anything to Keller's arm, because screw those guys. You're taking Rasnum from me. Fine. Oh, they never actually claimed that province. White peace without border adjustments. Done. Ending the war now. No with no further concessions on either side is the most rational course of action, judging by its current state. There we go. We win. Nothing lost. Cool. Cool, 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 cool. You off to Cascadia. Turn about. We cannot fight this oh, it's you guys. Hi. Um. No, no, it's fine. <laughs> I was like, hang on, 10k against 11k? That may not end so well for us. But we also have the 7.5. We're fine. Our science should be under attack. You go away, though. Alright, battle is joined. This is a big fight. This might actually be one of the biggest yet. Whoosh. Both sides losing a lot. Definitely glad I have this guy here. Just pumping out damage, because we are losing a lot of ships. Like, if this had just been fleet versus fleet, we would have been in serious trouble. But as it is, the uh, 
Starbase actually took very little damage. Maliki fleet that vowed to raid our space has been destroyed as a result of the fleet action in Davy Jones' system. No survivors have been reported. Could this be a lesson? Research, research. <coughs> However, I'm going to have to do quite a lot of rebuilding. <coughs> So what I'm going to do is I'm going to send you back to the Magnam system over here. Advanced strike craft. Nice. Swarmer missiles. Crystal infused plating. Requires crystals. Ion thruster. Probably doesn't. We are running a bit low on food, so let's go ahead and have you build some more of those. And then, because we know that mining is often a problem, let's go ahead and build some more mines. And I guess we have to do a moat harvesting trap. We'll do it on these smaller worlds. And water ship down. Can make cloning vats. Which allows us to get a lot more organic pops going. I'm just trying to think like do I even want this? Want the energy grid. Davy Jones' locker. You have four unemployed. You're a forge world without any industrial districts? Warship down. You're doing the agriculture. Cascadia. You have two pops unemployed. Cascadia is a factory world. So go ahead and build that. Helms Deep is a factory world. One person unemployed. You do have a building slot. You could get a military academy. Which I'm going to say go ahead and do. And I actually think that all of my border provinces want those, so Cascadia is another one. We'll come back to you. Waterloo, you're a generator world, but you have nothing left to generate. You do need more jobs, however. You can double down on the mineral production. And then New South Wales, you need just one more job. Energy? No, we have loads of energy now. Do it anyway. Okay, Cascadia. I then want you to build... Actually, no. What we'll do is we'll replace you with... Oh, you have moat harvesting traps as well. Um, where is it? Military Academy. That will require 400. Can I cancel that? Build? Not that. Yeah, that'll do. Alright, awesome. So, all of my planets are building stuff again. We've just used up our full stock of minerals, but we should hopefully get some more sometime soon. And now we just need to rebuild our fleets. Unfortunately, our fleets perform really underwhelmingly considering their size because we just don't have any of the advanced weaponry. There are advanced things to study there. Why aren't they showing up? 
Uh, does Cascadia not have a science ship? Apparently not. Oh, I can finally do mm, crystals. Can't do Droth though. Can do those. And how are we doing for rare materials here? Yeah, we're producing a lot of dark matter, but that's it. So does that mean I can help? Yeah, now I can purchase dark matter. So you're right. As long as you can produce at least one of anything, then you can buy them. So you have to waste a very valuable building slot just to enable that. Well, considering now I know how many technologies are locked behind them. Probably worth it. I wonder how the soldiers feel about fighting a long, brutal war that just fizzles with no changes. Probably not great. <laughs> Especially theirs. Because they're the ones that start it. Uh, quantum missiles require explosive moats, crystal plants. Although, we're getting crystals in space. So literally the only things that we're going to need to buy are explosive moats and gases. Everything else we can produce. Civilian fabricators, that upgrades the... Oh no, that's a specialist artificer upgrade. Getting some more upgrades for free. That's nice, thank you very much for the free tech. Okay, you still have an employment. That's because I don't think you were building anything before. And you have the building slot. This is Aquarius, which is here. Aquarius is in safe space. And there's a tech world, so let's start you doing some actual technology. Oh, requires planetary administration. You are not a col- wow, you're still a colony. Huh. Fair enough. We'll wait until you get the 10 pop. You can just build more city districts in the open building slots and low-sized planets. I know, but that's not the problem. The problem is planets like this, which currently already have 82 population with 328 housing, with zero jobs. This- this is the problem, because this is going to happen on all of my planets. It's just that that's my capital, so it's the most developed right now. And, yeah, we're getting pirates. Can I see where that is? It is literally just in this area because there's nothing protecting it, so I need a star base in Unith. Or Ephrip. Unith. Unith would be the best place. Then we put a um, trade collector from there. Okay. Well, let's send in the red tide. New technology, antimatter reactor. Cool. So we can get more energy credits. Advanced research complex. Now that we're going to have a source of gases, I think we may want to do that. 
that allow us to get up to six researchers. Unexplainable rotations. Just a day after finishing our mining station on the trapped asteroid, the rocks abruptly rotated, destroying the mining station in the process of doing this. Even more red crystals deposits were exposed on our sensors. Build it again! Or study it. Um, why did it do that? It's a good question. Trapped asteroid needs a scientist. Research those projects, then return here. Get back to assisting the research. Go. Fast speed. Aquarius Prime. Do we have the stuff for the research lab yet? No, because we're right. We're waiting for you to grow big enough. Cascadia still has a lot of unemployment. New skills for Tidebringer Valiant Dull. Oh, Valiant got promoted. We just don't know what. Uh, destroyer focus, destroyer build cost reduced, home in the sky, starbait module upgrade cost, and module cost, and then leader level cap plus one, leader experience plus 20. That means my scientist can hit level 10 now. There's the civilian fabricators. Um, I mean, it's a rare tech. Starbase upgrade cost and speed. Done. Because we do need to upgrade and replace some of the losses that we took previously, like Diadem and other places like it need upgrades. Gun and missile. Defense grid super. You've got them already. You've got them already. Waterloo. Right, these are the... Places around planets which are more about getting... Population. Um, naval capacity. And then Davy Jones Locker, you are a planet which does not have the defensive capabilities yet. So we're going to replace the Autokethon with the... Military Academy. So that's Davy Jones done, that's Helm's Deep done. Atlantis could frankly do with it, and Cascadia could frankly do with it. Cascadia's already got it. Okay, so Cascadia has it. Does that mean Helmsteep doesn't? Helmsteep does too. Cool. Okay, carry on. Cascadia is struggling for amenities. Go ahead and build a city. Davy Jones's locker is fine. Aquarius, right? Aquarius is still waiting for the upgrade. Battle is joined. Battle is over. <laughs> And then once you're done with that, um, head back to again. Whoops. Kill them. Then head back to McGann. Pirate station raided. Excellent. And I'm going to say the Cascadia is your own base. 
Then the Super Clankers, South Wales are going to be your home base. And we are unemployed again. I can barely stay ahead of that curve. All right, Waterworld is going to need a city. Elm's Deep is going to need a city. I'm seeing a lot of amenities problems. Cascadia is building a city. Davy Jones is getting the military academy. Aquarius is waiting for its extra population. Which is actually decreasing. Hold on, that's a problem. I'm actually kind of tempted to send you clone vats. Sure. Then Hydro Prime. Just keep on working on the minerals. Okay, so now we should be gaining some of these. We can now actually buy those. Flipping finally. We have quite a lot of energy now. Council election imminent. Right, then lifespan needs to... Research, research, return. Yep, continue doing the patronage thing. And you need to research that and then head back to Cascadia Prime to assist the research there. Go. New South Wales, once again out of jobs, but now we can actually do some serious upgrades. But now we can do some upgrades. <laughs> Let's get those researching place go places going. So city districts provide extra clerks, which is another job slot. And specialist resource output. I'm actually going to go for the jobs right now. Because we're starting to build some more cities. And that also is going to result in more trade. With the eye, thank you very much for the Prime subscription coming in with a three-month resub. Love your Stellaris streams. I hope you can help improve the game in your new position. You have some great ideas. Yeah, thank you for that. Um, fingers crossed. Vlad Dracula. Thank you very much for the 12-month primary subscription. That is, if my mathematics is correct, a whole year. So congratulations on earning those golden wings. Usually I'm just learning. Uh, usually I'm just lurking. But golden huzzah. wings, huzzah. And as King Van Hammer is saying, huzzah. Thank you very much for the 10-month resubscription with Prime as well. Van Hammer. Brains. Awesome. And yeah, for those of you who don't know what With the Eye was talking about, I am the new community manager for Stellaris starting next month, moving to Sweden. That's what I'm in the process of looking for, is new apartments in Stockholm. I am joining Paradox proper. Right. Ooh, artificer output. Market analysis algorithms. That sounds like it might be good. I'm going to do that. It's also really cheap. Get that done in just six months. Nice. Meanwhile, here, we are actually low on housing. My goodness. Uh, easily dealt with. Build more districts. You don't have a governor? Right, because Valiant Dull used to be your governor. 
Uh, army build speed, army cost, army defense damage. Having you as the governor of Helm's Deep would actually be pretty useful. Well, we just go for the leader lifespan, especially as you're only 39. Let's go for the lifespan. Yeah, cool. I wish there was a pop-up saying Sector doesn't have a governor. Aha, yes, we can now upgrade Cascadia Prime's fortresses. More importantly, we can upgrade Helm's Deep's fortress. Because the fortress has the FTL inhibitor, which means that uh, enemy ships cannot just fly past. No flybys for you. Right, Helm's Deep, you're going to build once we have the minerals. We are short on minerals again. You know what, we have loads of energy, so let's go ahead and just buy some. Buy 5,000. So Waterloo Prime, you are going to need some... Hollow Theatres. Helm's Deep, you also need Holly Theatres. Cascadia. Why did I build a thing for you? Clone Vats? Actually, no, you need a planetary shield generator. Because you're holding my northern front. Cascadia was the one place that was actually under serious threat last war. So I'm a little bit surprised that I didn't already have one here. And the star base of Cascadia also desperately needs upgrading. And we also need to continue to reinforce our fleet so that they're at full strength. How are we doing compared to these guys now? Equivalent. Our economy has caught them up. We have no idea how these guys are looking compared to us. Who are they again? They are the Ozcox. Where are they? There they are. Unknown, unknown, unknown. Interesting. Yeg Orlok just died. That's our envoy. He should automatically get replaced. And finally, Aquarius. Joining the ranks of proper planets. Artificer output is done. Shield capacitor. Shield capacitor. And ship fire rate and command centers, ship fire rate on allied ships. That's going to be quite nice. Sure. Secured. Then I think I want you to build another city so we can actually start getting some tech things for you. Starbase upgrades done. 